All right, we want to rationalize the denominator of 5 plus root 6 over 8 plus root 6. So we need to uh, multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. And since it's 8 plus root 6 on the bottom, we want to multiply by 8 minus root 6. And you have to do it to the top and the bottom, otherwise you're changing the problem. Because remember that anything over itself is just 1, so it's okay for us to multiply by 1. Alright, so 8 times 5 is 40. And 5 times root 6, or negative root 6, would be 5, minus 5 root 6. And root 6 times 8 would be plus 8 root 6. And then root 6 times root 6 is just 6. And it's going to be a minus 6 because it's there's one minus, one positive. The reason that is is because it would be the square root of 36, which um, is just 6. All right, in the bottom, we have 8 times 8, which is 64. And then we have a plus 8 root 6 and a minus 8 root 6. So those cancel. And then we have a minus square root of 36, which is just 6. So if we simplify, the numerator is going to be 40 minus 6, which is 36. And then negative 5 plus 8 would be positive 3 square root of 6. And then 64 minus 6 is 58. Uh, and then if we look to see if there's any simplifying that we can do, um, I don't see any because um, that even though 36 and 58 have a common factor, it would have to also be divisible by this 3 here. And there isn't anything that divides 3, 36, and 58 other than 1. So that should be our answer right here. We've rationalized the denominator, meaning where there's no radicals left in the denominator.